I want to talk about these. So I don't think a lot of lawyers, I don't think when you think about a, a, a legal professional writing a book, let alone two, and my guess is there's probably more in there for you, right? You probably have more books in there for you, maybe. Uh, I don't know. I'm getting kind of old, so it's it's a, it's a process that does it is. out a little bit. So. Well, what's, the, uh, what's the concept, though, to, to, to write a book, though? Like, what's the, why do you need a book when everyone needs your help? Um, I, well, it, it kind of goes back to the introverted marketer uh, at, at some point, but um, I wrote the first book and, and the second book as well, because I like to explain the process. Um, I don't like my clients to be surprised. And for example, if you're buying a business or selling a small business, there, there is a, a, a pretty involved process and um, it, it a lot of people think that once they, you know, let's say a, a buyer is going to buy a small business and he or she has essentially cut the deal with the seller. Uh, they've agreed on price and things like that, you know, some of the, the basic terms. And then they come to see me and they say, OK, you know, we're ready to do this and uh, let's get it closed. Sometimes, I mean, I have somebody who came in to see me earlier this week who said, yeah, we want to close in a couple of weeks. And. That's possible, um, but you know, a lot of deals, the, the process takes a lot longer than that, especially if there's a bank involved or a landlord involved. So the idea to write the book was, I kept getting asked questions, the same questions over and over again for the last 20 plus years. And I thought, you know, what would be awesome would be to have a book to just give to somebody when they came into my office and said, you know, I'm thinking about buying a small business and I said, well, here's a book that answers probably, you know, the majority of your questions. Um, I, I did a deal a couple of years ago where I gave the client the book and I said to them, hey, before you're going to have a lot of questions, but before you call me, uh, if you want to save on some legal fees, look in the table of contents first and see if the book answers your question. Um, so I love to explain process. I love to uh, have people understand what they can expect. And, and that was a big, but from a marketing perspective, um, I wanted to have something that I could talk about other than myself, if that makes sense. If I go to a networking event and somebody says, what do you do? And I say, I'm a business lawyer. Well, you know, there, we're a dime a dozen, right? We're more than a dime a dozen. You know, we're just, so what would differentiate me? Well, if I say, you know, I'm a, I'm a lawyer, a business lawyer, but I also just published a book last uh, last year about you know starting a business. Now we start talking about the book, and we they start asking me questions about the book, um, and that is a wonderful way for me to help people understand who I am and what I do. So uh, those are kind of the two purposes. One was to help people uh, understand the process and not be surprised. But two, the second purpose was to give me something that I could talk about when I try and market my practice. The Fervent Four is powered by the Small Business Development Center, which helps local small businesses grow through counseling. If you're interested in learning more on how the SBDC can help your business, head to startwheel.org slash weekly. What's interesting is uh, when I wrote Anomaly, a lot of the the, the same concepts that you, you're talking about is I kept getting the same question over and over again. And it was, you know, maybe worded a little differently, but it was basically mm -hmm. like, hi, Zach Miller. Um, I'm looking to grow my business in the quickest way possible and the cheapest way possible. How could you do that? Or how could I do that? And it's like, well, I've answered this question like in a cornucopia of different ways. And the only thing I haven't done is write a book because I, unlike you, Joel, hate writing. I wanted to challenge myself to do something a little different. And so I uh, wrote this bad boy, but it's the same thing. It's like, I, I mean, I'd been saying some, a lot of the stuff before helped people. It was, it was all the things that I had done over the last decade or so. And I, I agree with you on that. So well, that's, that's pretty cool. Well, and shameless plug for your book. I, oh. I loved it. I really did because it helped me. I've read a lot of marketing books and, and I've tried to a lot of different things over the years to market my practice, but your book uh, really helped me kind of dis I mean, it distilled down some things I had read. And it also gave me, I guess, permission not to be so hard on myself, if that makes sense. I mean, I loved your description of the, you know, the, the I don't even know all the terminology, but kind of, the, I guess, a, maybe I call it a sales funnel, but, you know, just the, 
the different stages of, yeah. of the sales process and, and allowing myself permission to go through the first four or five of those stages without feeling a lot of pressure. Um, so, I, I mean, some of the ideas in your book, I'm using, absolutely. And, and um, you know, it's it's been great. But, you know, it's interesting that that is, I'm looking for long-term success, not like, hey, I want to get this customer today. Someone picks up the phone and says, hey, I want, I want to work with you. Yeah, I'm, I'll probably sell them. But this person I meet at a networking event, or if I happen to go to Gather Virginia Beach uh, for one of your events and I meet someone, the first thing I'm going to do is not be like, hey, let me buy your thing, or hey, hey, buy my thing. Because that turns them off, right? Like most commercials right. you see for the first time, you're like, yo, I don't want to see this. And so I, yeah. I get why people do it, but I think there's a time and place for that style to work. And most of the time, it's not the first time you meet someone. And, and I am I always feel like I'm already working at a disadvantage. I mean, people have their ideas of what lawyers are like and not, not just what they do, but what their personalities are like. And and so to me, I was at lunch the other day with some people at, here at Gather and um, one of them is a, a young uh, financial advisor. She's been in the business for a couple of years now. And we started talking about- They probably had huh? the same problem. Yeah, that's what I said. I mean, she was asking me questions and I said, well, you already have, you're already at a disadvantage. Yep. When, when you say financial advisor, you know, I kind of back up a little bit because I think I already know who you are and what you're all about. And so we had Xerxes Nabong uh, on a couple yeah. of weeks ago about that. And and um, I don't know if oh, you said she, so it wasn't him. But uh, he. No, but I, I, I know Xerxes. Yeah. So when he opened his escape room, he had people finally starting to want to talk to him because he's like, yo, I own an escape room. They're like, wow. He's like, oh, I, I, I'm a financial advisor. They're like, Ugh. and so it's interesting yeah. how they're, he owns them both. He's the person behind them both, but one people are like, "Wow, that's amazing," and right. the other one they're like, eh, "Speak to the palm because you ain't the bomb." Like well, it's, and, and that's the that. when people find out I have books. They're like, "Oh, I want to learn all about that." I love that. Sounds really cool, and and I'm willing to share a lot of, you know, about that process and, and experience. But I I have a new cover for the. For the uh, second. Wow. Book. Well, I'm an OG, so yeah, you, you know go. some people anyway. have been a part of so, Joel Ankeny lifestyle for a long time. I'm part of the fan club, and look, I get OG book covers. Bam! Right, that's going to be a collector's item. You damn that. right it is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's going to fund your retirement. Yeah, and you know what? I got the old school Joel Ankeny. I'm. Not, I can't show that. We're gonna, we're gonna, I, there's a signature under there that's that that he's also changed. This is the old school <laughs> part of the retirement. I love that one. Well, you're you're doing something right, Joel. I mean, you're a part of the. Can you talk about how you became part of the admirals deal? Uh, I mean yeah. that, that that's not something that you you have to do something right. I'm assuming it probably a, a relationship or something had to happen to make it possible. Um. So it's it, it the. the the trigger was the first book, um, and I, I can tell you a little bit about it, and, and some of the stuff is confidential, so I, I'll have to not talk too much about that. But essentially, um, somebody in the buyer's group uh, for the Admirals uh, went in to see an attorney here in town, and the attorney wasn't a transactional attorney, but but handled a lot of other type of work for them. And when they mentioned that... Um, you know, they were interested in, in doing, it wasn't just the Admiral's transaction, but some other transactions as well. And did they, you know, did this attorney have uh, somebody that he could refer to? I had never met this attorney. He had never met me, but um, there had been a, an article in Inside Business about my first book when it was published. And this attorney had read that article and had bought my book off of Amazon and had uh, had the book on his desk. <clears throat> excuse me. And so he said, you know what, this guy right here who wrote this book is right here in Virginia Beach. You should go talk to him. And so they, the, the buyer's group came to me and they, um, you know, that, that was it. That's how it happened. Uh, and so when I, you know, the value of my book is, has been amazing uh, from a marketing perspective. I love that. I mean, here's the deal, right? I mean, it's, yeah. it's so, so do you think that that it, Here's the deal I don't think necessarily explains what the whole book is, but I do think that the subtitle, everything you wish a lawyer would tell you about buying a small business, like I, mm -hmm. I, I think that pulls it in and really does it. Like um, 
And that's great. I mean, I don't know how much that deal was. It, it doesn't matter. But the book alone, whatever it took to do that, you know, is oh, it's great. I've, I've, I've got a number of other stories like that where um, you know I can trace uh, quite a bit of of project and, and legal fees back to the book. So it's been it's been the best marketing thing that I've ever done in in almost thirty years of practice. It's awesome. Love it. Love it. Joel, is there anything we haven't talked about today that you want to talk about? Uh, I've enjoyed it really. And, um, no, I don't think, I mean, it, it, we've, we've had a good time and I appreciate it. You know, you, you brought up the CNO canal trail and I was curious why you even went there, but you know, this, the second book before you leap is in the introduction is a story about an experience I had as a teenager jumping off a cliff and it's right off the CNO canal. I mean, it's, I, it's it's not necessarily legal, but if you go down the Billy Goat Trail, you can find this cliff and and jump off the cliff into the river. So, um, it was a um, a defining life moment for me as a teenager. So yeah, Cino Canal somewhere in the book right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, I, I, I appreciate you guys having me on. I I like like I said, we have a lot of I think very you know similar contacts. I've been in the room with you guys before, and you probably didn't even know it. I've been to Start Norfolk before. I've um, you know, I've, I've been up on the peninsula for a while. I was uh, involved with Peninsula Technology Incubator for a while. Um, and so I think I, I just enjoy and, and appreciate the fact that you, you we've made this connection that, and you were kind enough to have me on. So thank you so much. Absolutely. It's been a, a, a ton of fun and uh, looking forward to more and more conversations, whether here on the, uh, the old World Wide Web or um, when I'm not so paranoid to see people in person. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Tim, anything else? Nope. Great show. Appreciate your time, Joel. Awesome. Until next time, we'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching and peace and pancakes. Chocolate chip if you want. Laters.